Hey, it's Jason here from Preston Church. This is just a bit of a short story about how God has been working my life over the last 12 months. So, I grew up in the church, but then faded in and out a bit as I got older. Um, I still tried to ter- attend church when I could, but was really just a pew warmer and never really got that involved. Um, thanks to my upbringing, I still believe, but I didn't have a strong faith and passion for God, and was really only much of a Christian while in church at Saturdays. About this time last year, I decided I wanted to give my then unborn child every opportunity to know God, like what my parents had done for me as I still believe the Christian life is very beneficial in this life and the next. Um, So I started to pray to God, said, God, how do I get faith like Peter, Paul and the prophets of the Bible? And at some point he led me to Romans 10, 17, which says, faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. So then I started watching the Hope Sabbath School and reading the lesson each day on the app. Then the COVID pandemic hit, and because of this, I was cut back to three days a week at work. This was about the same time that the Sabbath School lesson was about making friends for God. So I said to God, you can have one of these extra days, just tell me what you want me to do with it. Um, I prayed for quite a while about this and got a bit frustrated when I didn't get an answer. It wasn't until afterwards that I realised that God still had some things to teach me about prayer, faith and surrendering to Him. And as I began to grow through reading the Bible, God told me what He wanted me to do. So I started letterboxing the cobra plants that's in my local area. I ran out of these pretty quick, so I started doing the Hope Channel tracks. Then the restrictions in Melbourne began to tighten, but God wasn't done with me yet. He told me to think bigger. As you know, Australia is pretty much an atheistic country, and I believe it is one of the hardest missions in the world to try and spread the gospel. So I made a call out to our local church, asking how can we help the community in these tough times, and through it show the love of God. Despite the church doors being shut due to the COVID restrictions, the response from the church members was overwhelming, with countless ideas on how the church can still help. So we got ourselves organised and in just a few months we've delivered care packages to 200 nursing home residents and staff. We've given out 50 hampers to struggling students. Uh, We've installed a drop box in front of our church where the community can go and get essential items. We've also got some online Facebook pages which are providing a source of encouragement and advice for the local community. At the start, the pastor asked me if I could manage these projects. I said yes, but I didn't know how we were going to do it all. But I left it in God's hand and it's amazing the doors he has opened. My faith and passion for God still have a long way to go before I'm like Peter and Paul, but they are definitely growing. So if you're in the same boat as I was and struggling a little bit with your faith, I can tell you from personal experience that there is no better way to help your faith than to prayer and to do work for God. The key is to step back and trust Him to lead the way. I strongly believe that doing God's work is much more for our benefit than for those we are trying to reach. Thanks.